Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping in. As you can tell, we are in the truck right now and uh, I don't know if you can tell outside or not, but it is raining pretty bad. Uh, but we came to the store today and we're going to get some bullets for the gun, some ammunition, and then uh, we're going to go to the gun range because the gun range that I'm, the well it's a gun club, but at the range there's uh, there's like little platforms that we can go underneath so we don't get wet. But either way, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but we're at the store right now, so we're about to head in. Alright guys, so we got the freedom packages and I waited a little while and the rain's kind of subsided. As you can see, there's still freaking lakes in the field next to me, but it isn't raining as bad. So uh, we're headed to the range right now and uh, we'll see you guys there. Okay guys, so we're here and like normal, I have the range all to myself. Which is great. We got a 25 yard hill, 50, and then 100. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to, I'm definitely not going to put one at 25, but I may put one at 50, and I'm definitely going to put a couple at 100. But uh, here's a gun. Here's my little setup. We got several boxes of this cheap tool ammo. I like that stuff. I've heard that steel's hard on ARs, like steel casings, because that's what those are. But I haven't shown, I haven't seen any signs of like bad wear or anything like that. And then I have just a bunch of paper plates that we're going to use for targets. But uh, either way, I'm going to get I'm gonna get things set up and I'll set you guys up and get to shoot. So I'm going to set you guys up on the targets, but we got three paper plates down there at 100 yards. And uh, we also have one clay pigeon. Well, it's part of a clay pigeon that was set up. That was set up. That was down there that I just set up. So I'm just going to load four rounds in to start with and uh, see how it goes. I'm going to throw my ear protection on and I'm going to put you guys down range. Alright, here we go. Go ahead and put six in now. All right, fire in the hole. So I think, oops, one of my sandbags has fallen. I think we're a little bit close to the bullseye, but we may go check it out. Alright, so as you can tell, we're not at the range anymore, and I actually didn't show you guys any of the targets or anything. There's nothing really to brag about. I hit the paper plate just about every time, but uh, 
It started to rain a little bit heavier and I didn't want to get any of my camera gear wet going down to the target. So I just decided, you know, not to and just cut the shooting portion of the video short. So I'm sorry about that, but uh, we're actually going to do a trail camera check too because with my leg I haven't really been able to uh, check the trail camera a lot. So um, it's been since about December 6th when I checked it last. That was what this is a picture of me walking out of the woods. So uh, we'll go ahead and get into checking this really quick. Okay, so obviously this is a picture of me walking out of the woods. Then there's a little buck. You can see his tine. Then there's a little buck too. Doe, 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 doe in the daytime. And this buck I actually think is another bigger buck that I have on camera because uh, like part of his main beam there looks pretty thick. So I, I, but we actually didn't get another picture of him like out in the middle when he got out in the middle of the area because this was the only picture after that. And you see this one's at 3.06 a.m. And this one's at 7.30 a.m. Nothing. And then this buck, uh, I've actually had him on camera since the summer. And I'll put some other pictures up somewhere. But uh, I'm actually excited to see how he'll look next year because he's kind of, like you can see right here, he's got he's kind of funky really. But I'm excited to see how he turns out. He didn't turn out as well as I thought he would this year. But I still think he'll be a pretty nice buck. He's, I mean, he's not like... He's just a funky looking buck, that's why I like him. I mean, because he's got this one, and it actually splits off. I think I have a picture of it where it splits off. Yeah, you can see right there where it splits off, and then it just goes straight up. And I just think that's really unique, and it's pretty cool. And I got this fox. I actually think this fox dug up one of my traps a while back, because it didn't go off, but it, but the trap was dug up, and the bait was gone. And then does. We got a bunch of does in here. And this is December now. Bunch of does, bunch of does. And there's that fox again right here. You can see the fox again. I've actually gotten, over the years, I don't know if it's the same fox, but I've gotten a bunch of pictures of foxes here lately. Which, I mean, is cool because they don't, I don't think they really eat deer that much because it's a pretty small animal. Here's a little buck. He's a funky looking little spike. And I actually have a bunch of pictures of this deer too. I think I have him in the summer as well. I don't know if that's the same deer or not. And there's that fox again. And then this buck, I was actually really surprised about this buck. I don't think I have a, I don't think I have any pictures of him from last year. But um, yeah, I mean, he looks, he looks to be a really nice buck. I would guess, like just looking at his brisket and everything, I would guess him like three and a half, four. He looks like he's a little bit of an older buck, and that was uh, the first, or not the first, that was January 5th when I got that one, so that looks like a pretty, looks like it'll be a pretty solid deer. There's that fox again. There's a couple does, 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 and right in here is where we got a bunch of does. A bunch of. And then this was actually, I, I was actually surprised about this because this, well, not really surprised, but I was kind of bummed out about it because this is the last day of the season. I believe it was the last day. It was either the, either the fifth or the sixth was the last day of the season in Indiana. I'd have to check, but I'm not 100 percent sure. This was at 9-12, so I would totally still be in the stand. And look how long these does are here. Well, it's really not that long. I just got a bunch of pictures. But they were there for like a good couple minutes. Plenty enough time to and then here's, an, here's another couple bucks. There's another little buck. I don't think I have him on camera before just then. There's one that I know I had on camera. He honestly looks like he may be all right next year too. I mean, he's, he's, he's nothing special right now, but he, a, a year can make a whole lot of difference for a deer. Get through these last couple pictures. There's me. There's me again. There's a doe. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm really happy with with what I have, what what deer are still in the area now. But uh, I, I'm I'm looking forward to next year. I think I need to plant some sort of food source back in the woods because I don't think. And there's another picture of that buck, like I was telling you guys about. 
But I do think I need to put another uh, food source back there other than just, uh, just what I had because I just, I don't think that was enough to keep them on the property truthfully. But uh, who knows, hopefully next year I have a little bit better luck than I did this year and hopefully next year I don't get hurt and I don't have to worry about this. But uh, either way, that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up. That would really help me out. And uh, hopefully I can get back with another shooting video sometime soon. But either way, I'll see you guys later.